Hi guys, Craig here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a quick look at the Orient XS. This is a 12 volt 50 amp DC to DC charger put out by Victron. You can see the unit size there in comparison to the Renergy Rego. And the reason I'm going to test this today, I'm just going to recap my memory um, and try and do a fair test as a comparison between the Rego and the Orient XS. Um, so look at my other video that I put out the other day on this and you'll see everything about it. I'll run this one through its paces. I've got it connected into the, uh, the Renergy test rig here. I'm going to do the cable length um, comparison to see whether the amps output drops by introducing longer cables. We'll test the heat of the unit and we'll see whether it derates as it gets hot. Plugged in to the short cable, directly into the Orient XS. I've got the fan eater on over here, discharging the Renergy battery, so it doesn't go into absorption. And straight away you can see the input voltage here, 12.9 volts on the Victron battery, and it's pulling 50 amps exactly, and the output current to the Renergy battery is 47.4 amps and it's charging at or holding voltage at 13.3 volts and charging. Got the shunt in line here and as you can see it's negative power because the fan heater is on running via the Renergy inverter. So I'm going to let that run and see how we go. Now this is relative so straight away you can see we can't generate the 50 amps because we don't have the input voltage so it requires a higher input voltage to get the 50 amps so that is what it is um, that's probably a result of my battery um, and it's not being charged at a higher rate I've just got a IP65 uh, 25 amp um, Victron charger on it which is sitting over there so it's boosting the voltage slightly, but it's not going to be quite enough. So that's the reason we're not quite getting it. But look, that's on me. That's no fault of the DC to DC. In terms of the settings, let's just have a quick look what I've done. Okay, so you can see here it's set up as a charger. Uh, the charger is enabled. The input current limit is set to 50. The output is set to 50. The battery settings, I've just set that to uh, smart lithium as default. No problems with any of that. Um, engine shutdown detection, I've disabled it just to make it easy. And the input voltage, I've also disabled that. So you can turn that up or down and depending on if the voltage drops on the battery, on the starter battery, in this case the Victron 200 Smart, um, it would cut out the DC to DC so protect your battery from going flat but I don't need that from what I'm doing. And you've also got VE Smart Networking here if you wanted to create or join a smart network with other Victron devices. I'm gonna let that run for a little while, see if this unit heats up. Then I'm gonna introduce a cable that's a bit longer. As I said, that'll probably give me about four meters in length. We'll see what that does to voltage drop. And then I'll introduce the 10 meter cable that I was using the other day on the Renergy test. So the test is fairly even. Um, in terms of input and output, I've got 16 mil squared cable on this. So that's um, what I can put into it. Obviously the, the Renergy leads only had the, um, was either six or eight mil squared, I can't remember now. Um, but they're hard wired in and you can't change that. So that is what it is. So at the moment, still pulling the 50 amps and getting 47.7 or 47.9 there we go it's going up slightly 48 amps in um, I'm happy with that so far let's see if this unit heats up and we get a derating just thought I'd bring up the Victron smart battery and as you can see the cell voltages are good it has dropped the voltage down a little bit to 13.12. Um, 
the energy voltage seemed to be a little bit higher from memory. Um, I'll have to go back at the other video and have a look at that. So it is pulling the voltage down, but it is pulling a solid 50 amps. The thing with the Renergy is that it, it would pull more current. Remember, it was like 57, nearly 60 amps pulling off the starter battery to generate the 50 amps, where this one just holds 50 on the input and produces that 48 on the output. Um, I kind of like that better, so you know you're only going to not exceed the 50 amps on your start battery. Been running for a little while now, and you, as you can see, uh, the input still holding that 50 amps nicely, and the output 48.5. Uh, so no issues with that. In terms of uh, temperature, 33 degrees. So really no rise in temperature on the unit at this point. What I'll do is I'll introduce the three to four meter cable now and we'll see what that does to voltage so the input voltage is 12.9 on the unit and on the shunt sorry on the battery we're showing 13.3 okay so the shorter cable has now been introduced into the test and have a look at that we're still able yes the voltage has dropped to 12.5 because of the voltage drop in the cable but it's still able to output 50 amps and on the charging side we're getting 46.8 so it has dropped slightly but nowhere near as much as the um the renergy dc to dc the renergy dropped to about uh somewhere between 30 and 35 amps was it or was it less than that i'll have to look at the video again and check so yes, we do have a little bit of voltage drop because of the longer cable, but it's still able to pull 50 amps and output just under 47. So really happy with that. Okay, introduced the 10 meter cable now. Remember this is the 13.3 millimeter squared. So I am expecting quite a bit of voltage drop and I'm expecting the output is gonna be dropped quite significantly. Let's have a look. Okay, so the voltage has dropped. 11.8 volts. I'd expect that because of the long cable. Still pulling the 50 amps. But the watts are less because the voltage is less. But look at that. Look at the top number. Still able to output 44.2 amps out of a possible 50. And I guarantee you, if I put a larger diameter cable which is what i suggested for the renergy either um, 25 mil or in in fact even i said you'd probably need 35 mil but i'd, I'd suspect 25 mil would be ample for the victor on orion xs 50 out 44 in 10 meter cable using 13.5 millimeter Sorry, 13.3 millimetre squared cable. What I'll do now is put the short cable back on. Let this run for quite some time. We'll see how it heats up and we'll see whether the output amps drops. Still going, no problem so far. 50 amps on the input side, 48.4 on the output side. In terms of temperature, sure, it's come up a little bit, 37 degrees, but, you know, it's not hot at all. The great thing I like about this particular charger is you can, let's see if I change the output current down to, say, 25 amps. And click OK, go back out, and you'll see what happens is we'll go at 25 basically on 25 and it brings the voltage up now you couldn't do that on the Renergy one all you could do was change the total um, charging rate 
which I guess would have the same effect. But I really like that. So I just go back in because I want this on maximum output so I can try and heat up the unit. And 50 on 48.7 in this particular case. So that's holding nicely. All right, I might go make a cup of coffee and come back and uh, see whether this is derated at all. I've introduced the eight millimeter squared cable and I did it yesterday and I thought I'd do it again for the uh, Victron test to see what that does. Remember, this eight mil squared cable is about five meters in length. It's gonna have obviously reduce the voltage greatly and as a result, you'd expect the output to drop exactly the same as the Renergy did, but let's have a look. Yes, as expected, voltage has dropped, 11.3 volts. But look at the current, still can pull 50 amps from the starter battery. And look at the output, 42.6 amps. So it's still putting out really good output, guys. Um, the Renergy one, I believe, was in the um, mid to low 20 amps output when I introduced that eight millimeter squared cable. So to me, that's a fair test. And obviously the, um, the Orion XS is um, going extremely well. Let's have a look at the heat. Yeah, it's come up a bit, 40 degrees. Hasn't derated at all, apart from introducing the longer cable. So I'll put the short cable back on it now. Just about finished my coffee. And I'll let it run for another 20 minutes or so and see whether it derates. It's been over an hour and a half now with this thing. It's just still going strong. As you can see, 48 amps on the output, still 50 amps on the input. Uh, let's just check the temperature. 44.5 degrees there. So it has come up a little bit. Like It's just not getting hot like the Renergy one did. That Renergy unit um, hit 75 degrees on the surface within an hour and dropped the output to, you know, mid 20 amps, 25 amps. So um, I know which one I'd buy. Um, this thing just continues to perform. The app is easier to work. The settings are just easier and you can understand it. Um, yeah. Um, you know, don't need to say it. It's obviously a pass with a thumbs up on the Orion XS. Got any comments or questions, uh, leave them below and um, I'll endeavour to answer them for you. Thanks, guys, and stay tuned for the next one.